So when food enters the stomach, um, the muscles of the stomach start to contract in a rhythmic fashion, um, similar to when food moves down the esophagus. Um, it's called peristalsis, and that uh, helps to mechanically digest the food within the stomach. Um, when the food enters the stomach, remember at that point it's uh, actually called a bolus. Um, so when the food enters the stomach, gastric juice is also secreted. And gastric juice um, involves or is made up of several different chemicals. And those are secreted by a few different cells within uh, the stomach. So parietal cells secrete hydrochloric acid. Um, hydrochloric acid keeps the uh, interior of the stomach really acidic and it helps to break down the structure of the protein. So to change, remember we said proteins always have a three-dimensional structure. So what happens is hydrochloric acid helps to break down that three-dimensional structure. Um, that's called denaturing. Um, parietal cells also secrete intrinsic factor, um, which, which aids in the absorption of the vitamin B12. And then other cells within the stomach called chief cells secrete um, an enzyme called pepsinogen, um, which converts to pepsin within the stomach. And pepsin um, breaks down or digests proteins. And then another enzyme chief cells secrete is gastric lipase. And this is an enzyme that um, helps to break down lipids. Um, now, lipids do get broken down slightly within the stomach, but most of the breakdown of uh, lipids occurs later in the uh, digestive system. Um, and then also some small amounts of um, molecules like water, some minerals, drugs, and alcohol are absorbed within the stomach, but most of the, the, the absorption, again, occurs later in the digestive tract.